ride people. I got a bunch of storage on my on my phone, so I'm about to go a little quick. Plus, there ain't a whole lot to see on this one, I think, but it does have some goodies, man. She does got some goodies. Got a 79, 79 GMC. Caballero. And, uh, <laughs> I'm guessing they were uh, making it a high riser. <laughs> yeah. It's been off the road for a minute, man. At least, that's what it says here, with 2,000. There's the, the VIN for it. We got a TW8, what's that, a 0H9R500237. She got that right, man, they just covered this thing in Rhino Liner, man. So, I don't even know how hard that stuff is to come off. This tailgate's got a dent in it. She had them duels, man. And the bed looked fairly solid. That don't go to this car. To this car, I, I brought that from a, a blazer over there. Back glass is good. The uh, trim looks good on it too. This trim around it it's got a dent there and a, and a dent right here. Other than that, it looks okay. The doors. Um, she won't. She wouldn't open from the out. No, well, maybe she will. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, there we go. She had it even dented up here, but actually, this one looks pretty solid. No transmission. That grill might have been in good shape, but. Like I said, I have, I have no idea if that's, I wouldn't even bother with me. It looks fairly straight, but like I said, everything's full of rhino liner. Or bed liner, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we've never seen under the hood, right? There's not much to talk about under here. She's a factory AC car. This had a later model. I got a brand new uh, dipstick. <laughs> ah. Bet you're like, where, where are the goodies at? This glass is busted. Door glass is good though. Can't see much here. At least I couldn't. But this is the goodies I'm talking about, man. Check that out. This was a 40, uh, 60 40 split. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. And they uh, they took that, that piece off here, so to make it into buckets, you can feel, I can feel right here is where the uh, the headrest was on it, on you know either side there. It was only held in by two bolts. I've almost got this one all the way out. So, and I looked them over, and I mean, only thing that sucks, man, is that it's cheaper if you buy a bench seat, right? Well, then again, yeah, they would they probably would have charged me as buckets because it is split even a 4060. But I mean, I looked them over and nothing is ripped on them. They're still in good shape. They even did the uh, 
the upper door panels. Bottom door panels are garbage. They hit it with that looks almost I don't know what they hit it with. Almost one looks like they've hit hit it with the with that freaking rhino liner crap almost. I don't know. But yeah. But the top ones, there's nothing wrong. Like you see that this was a um, power window car. But yeah, power windows and power locks, I I think, right? I believe. I think. Yeah, yeah, because it would have down here for the locks. Matter of fact, I thought I saw the. Yeah, I think that's it right here, unless it went on that one over there. But, um. Yeah. Nothing's in the glove box. Uh, uh, as you can see, no, uh, RPO codes on this one. I don't know, uh, I call it, but uh, no SPID. non-tilt even did the she's all cracking over here though that's, that's no good anymore I assume yeah, she used to be a blue car it had at one point <sighs> freaking it looked like they, they had put a new uh, new carpet in it but this thing just wore out I don't know it just it looks like it just it's, I think it was new <laughs> I'm assuming it was, but maybe over the years, I mean, we're talking 21 years or whatnot that it's probably been sitting, which is weird, man. I mean, how this, these seats just held up nice, if that's the case. I'm sure you probably saw, did you see the other one up there? The freaking uh, player wheels for the wire wheels. There's a, that blazer has them, man, but it's <laughs> got, the one last has got the uh, the locking lug nuts on there, man. Oh, those things are a bitch to take off, man. They're 15s, universal, but dual bolt patterns with the... Uh, like the you can probably see them over there, or on that. You see them over there. I don't know, man. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get these. Right, man, so I don't want to... thing to run out of... Run out of uh, uh, memory here. But I'm going to get these. I don't know if I'll get the... The actual door panels i'll think about it but definitely these would be about 40 bucks a piece somebody ought to be able to give me a little bit of bread for them i mean you know well this door was in good shape it was it was decent i guess you know other than that oh and the uh back here we just got a bunch of uh you know just random uh you know, panels, trim pieces, whatnot. See how more blue. Tell me how it's been, been painted black over. Hmm. Not that bad. Sometimes they're ripped. I think these will fit the Monte Carlo as well. Spacer. Much else, man. I thought I, I need one of these too, man. I wonder if they make these, they sell these new. You need to look it up. Cause mine is like broken like that too. Like my Monte Carlo. Uh, oh yeah, one last thing, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> I got to look under here, man. You see right there? I don't know if you can kind of see it. I think it says limited, right? Limited slip. I think so, right? Yeah, I think it does. Problem is, when I turn the wheel, the other one don't turn. She probably all wore out. But it wasn't. She did have a, I guess a posse with the, you know, this Puny 7.5. Kind of rare to find these cars, but, you know. This one did have it. Well, this being a, you know, truck. <laughs> and fairly, I guess new, they never really, yeah, fairly new uh, um, air shocks as well. Well, there you go. take a look at this on this side of the seat there.
Well, all right, man. It's gonna do her. Uh, I was hoping I was I was hoping she would have had the actual real you know buckets, but yeah. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, man. At least I'm gonna get those. All right, man. On to the next one.